Hello and welcome to Make Your Mondays at Derby Museum. My name is Tessa and I'm here in the Nature Gallery at the museum and what we're going to do today is something that's been going on in history for centuries and centuries. We're going to make a board game. Don't need very much. You need paper or cardboard and you need drawing materials. Okay, I've made some instructions for you to make your own board game. I've made an activity sheet to help you remember what we're going to do, the eight steps that you need to do to make your own board game. This is going to be available for you to see on the website, so I'll put it there and we can get cracking. The first thing that we're going to do to make our board game is choose a theme. Now this is the best part, I love choosing a theme. You could do anywhere, anywhere in the world, anywhere out of space. You could be the first to get to the moon, you could be the first to get to some treasure if you were pirates, you could be whatever. And I was thinking, because I'm in the nature gallery, I thought we could play a game so the fox could get to his den. And you could, that would be my theme, to get the fox to his, to his home, to his den. So that would be my theme. Next thing I need to do is make my board. Okay, now here's an example of a really, really simple board. Here's an old um, breakfast cereal box, and I could just put like that, like that. This could be my start, start, and if I go like that, okay, that would be a really simple board, okay, because that would be the end. All right, but I think we might go a little bit more exciting. And I've got some examples that I've attached with the activity sheet at the end of this video that you could print out or just look at to get some ideas. Here's an idea for a board. This is the start and finish. Here's another one with blocks, okay. This is one with hay bales, and then this is one I made as well, which is little squares. And I thought, well, this is quite a nice one. I'd like to use this one to make my board for the fox to get back to his den. I love colouring in. So I got my pencil crayons out, and I coloured in the outsides of my squares to end up with that. Okay, and I thought, right, I can make it even brighter. So I got my pencil crayons out again, and I colored the middle. Next thing we've got to do is plan the rewards and the challenges of this game. Okay, so let's think if the fox is going to be going all the way home to his den, what kind of things might he see? He might see a butterfly and if he stops to chase a butterfly, that'll take him back. The fox will encounter on his journey back to his den that'll either delay him, make him jump forward on the board game, or even miss a turn. So we've got to think of some ideas that will complicate it, so that it's not just a straight throwing the dice to get to the end. If you land on a certain square, something will happen to the fox. Let's have a think. What kind of things could happen to the fox? I've come up with some ideas. He could chase a butterfly. He could eat some fresh berries, which would give him lots of energy, wouldn't they? There could be a hedgehog in his path, and that would slow him down. He could go down the secret tunnel. That might take him forward or backward. He'd get stuck in a mud puddle and have to miss a turn. He could eat some smelly cheese and not feel well and have to miss a turn, couldn't he? Maybe play with some friends. That would be quite fun. Or find a juicy worm to eat. But to actually make the game, I've got to start numbering my squares, haven't I? So, I've got a pen, and I'm going to build number one. Two, three, four. I think by the time we get to five, we should have something. So if you throw a five, I reckon if we put find a juicy worm there, we we'll eat it and he might need to give him enough energy to go forward three. So I'll say go forward, forward three. Okay, number six. And then I carried on all the way around my board. When I wanted something to happen, I'd write it in. Okay, it to an eight all the way up to home. 
where the den is. Right. Now I can start decorating the board, so I haven't got enough time to draw pictures now, so I've got some stickers. So let's see. We can use this as my little fox at the start. There he is. There he is. And those one, two, three. Now, five, I thought, if he finds a juicy worm, he, and I sticky tape it on there, then when somebody throws a five or anything to get to five, I'll turn it over and I'll see, find a juicy worm, go forward three. And, then, and I've got a sticker of a worm, so let's decorate the game with a sticker of a worm, shall we? That can be the juicy worm he'll find. You can nibble that and go forward. There we go. Right, number six. Oh, number five. Miss a turn, number seven. So if he plays with friends, I thought he, he'd stop and play with his friends and he'd have to miss a turn. So let me stick that one in there. So if people throw a seven, they'd have to miss a turn. Let's put some friends for him to play with, shall we, Jock? Maybe one of his cousins and decorate our board with a hedgehog. Here we go. What would happen if you got to square number 21? Oh, fresh berries to eat. Yummo. Right, let's put fresh berries. That's what happens there. Oh, I've got a nice sticker of a strawberry. And if he eats his fresh berries, it goes forward three. Two, three. Okay. And there's home. So that is my board. The next thing we need to do, step five, prepare your counters. Now you could go and dig around at home and find things. You could find coins or counters from other games, or you could make your own. What I've, what I've done today is I've got a bulldog clip. This is a bulldog clip. Let's open up this way. And I've taken a picture of myself and stuck it on some card. I'm going to put it in the bulldog clip. And that could be my counter, you see. You could make counters like that. You could make whatever you want. Just seems quite good too. You could make little figurines of yourself or even of the fox in different colours. Right. Next thing, we need to prepare a dice. Or when you've got one dice, it's called a die. Okay. Now, you've probably got some at home, but you might not be able to find them. So we've also included with the activity sheet, something on how to make your own die. Right, and I've, I've show you how to do it. I've done this one, I've cut it out, I've coloured it in, coloured in all the squares, and then you fold over the edges, fold it up, all the instructions are there, glue the edges together, and you make it up. Step seven, decide on the rules. So that you've got no cheating, and what you do if you throw a six, do you throw again or not? Um, just a few basic rules like that. And of course, finally, number eight is play the game. You can play with your friends, play with many people you want to play at a time. And I hope you have a lovely time playing your game. We'd love to see some of the games you've created. If you'd like to share them, with us, that would be lovely. And um, I hope you come up with some wonderful ideas as to where you set your board games. Bye bye, thank you very much.